G'day, I'm Robin from Equip2, and today I'm going to show you how to check the jaw position sensor and rod on a B4. So you'll find the jaw position sensor below the main hydraulic control bank on top of the jaw. Um, it's underneath a cover, so we can just remove this cover first. So once you've removed the cover, the next step is to visually check your jaw position sensor. That is the orange sensor on the bottom. Also, the jaw position sensor is used with a rod. The rod is, can seize up, so making sure that there is free play in the rod and making sure that the rod is also not bent. So the best way to check the jaw position rod is to do a jaw reset. You can find this process in our other videos and while the jaw reset is being done you want to visually check the rod is moving freely. This will give you the best indication that the rod is moving freely. If the rod isn't moving freely it's more likely that the rod is either seized or the sensor is faulty or is obstructed by some foreign material. So we'll go ahead and do a jaw reset and check that rod is moving freely. So now that we can see that the rod has been moving freely, that is okay. If the rod is not moving freely, it will need to be removed and replaced and repaired. This is also the same on a B3, apart from the rod is on the right hand side of the machine. So that's how you check the rod and the jaw position sensor on a B3 and a B4 jaw crusher. If there's any more information you'd like, please give us a call at Equip2 or Go on our website and have a look at other videos.